Okay, continuing this series on Python 3, we're, today we're going to be looking at uh, detecting whether a number is an even number or an odd number. Okay, so here we go. We're going we're gonna to write this into a script. Again, I'm going to use Vim as my text editor. Use whatever text editor you prefer. Uh, again, make sure it's not a word processor. That would be bad. Um, also, uh, this is part of a series. There should be an annotation on the screen to the full playlist. So here we go. Uh, Vim, I'll call this just um, even.py. Uh, and we are going to start off this code, as always, with our shebang line. This is important, although not necessary for the code to run proper. It's one of those things that, you know, if you're a good programmer, you're going to put this in there because it makes it easier for people to use your code, less likely for things to get screwed up. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to ask the user to enter a number, we'll say x, and we're going to say input, and we'll say enter a number, and as we've talked about in last tutorial and tutorials before since this is going to be a number we want it to be an integer we are going to put it that within the function of int so uh, the user enters a string and then we're going to convert it to uh, integer which is a whole number okay at this point we're going to say if and we're going to say x and we're going to say percent two okay do you guys remember what that does from our math video that we did weeks and weeks ago the percent sign is saying find us the remainder so basically it's dividing the number and finding the remainder and we're going to say if it equals zero well then we're going to print uh, this is an even number right and now what if it's not what if there isn't? Then we can say L if, and we could say per, uh, x percent, um, I'm messing up here, 2 equals 1. Because when you're dividing by 2, your remainder should be either 1 or 0. It's either going to divide evenly or it's not. So we're going to say print, and we're going to say here this is an odd number. We'll save that. Then we're going to change mod to make it executable. Uh, and this is, once again, uh, a script is non-executable, just like any ex executable, whether it's binary or script, should not have permission to run until the user gives it permission. So you could do this. Uh, and then you can just run the script as is and we'll check the shebang line for the interpreter or you can directly put it into the interpreter which hopefully is already installed and executable on your system. But the point is that this script by itself cannot just run by simple clicking. It doesn't have permission unless the user gives it permission to run. So then I do dot slash, that's just saying dot slash means this folder. In this folder, run this program even dot py. Then we'll say enter a number. I'll enter the number 5 and hit enter. And it says that is an odd number. If we run it again and I say 10, it says this is an even number. You know, and you can do big numbers. You can say blah 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 and this obviously because you always look at the last digit is an even number, so this is an even number. I can go do 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 do, and this by looking at the last digit we already know is uh, an odd number. So, I mean, simple code, but definitely could become important, especially if you ever start working with more advanced things like gaming. Uh, not that I'm going to get into that with any of these tutorials, but you start getting into a lot of number stuff to figure stuff out when you work with gaming. Uh, so, this is definitely something that could be useful if you're plan on going down that avenue down the line. But anyway, I'm going to enter the the code again with my text editor Vim. And again, we'll review here and we'll make some changes to see if certain things make uh, a change. So um, 
again, our shebang lines, just saying this is a Python 3 code, making sure it's not running in Python 2 or some other interpreter. It's Python 3. That's the environment we're running in. Okay, so we have x equals, and we're getting the user input, which is a string, but converting it to an integer. Um, now, as we said, we're finding the remainder of the number when it's divided by 2. And again, it can only have one of two remainders when you're dividing by 2, either 1 or none. So, as I said in a previous tutorial, stuff like this, this makes sense. There's only two options. So I can have if and elif. But really, the same thing, which would be shorter, is just to put else. Because it's either going to have no remainder and be even, otherwise it's an odd number. Or they didn't put in a number, which would cause an error before this, as we looked at in the previous tutorial. So just by changing that, I can run this again, hitting enter. I can type in a number and still get that's an odd number or an even number. So looking at this once again, uh, before uh, was definitely good for tutorial purposes and definitely is fine to do in your code. I'm just showing you that there are different ways to write code. Uh, and get the same results. Uh, it's all depending on, you know, you have to think out all the options. If there was options other than one or zero, then this else case wouldn't work because it would accumulate, accumulate, it would combine two answers that may not be, and one may not be an odd number if there was a third option. Um, so just wanted to point that out. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, looking at figuring out whether a number is even or odd. Uh, and uh, once again, pretty much everything in here is stuff that we've already done in previous tutorials. We're just combining them in different ways to get different results. And really, what I've taught you so far in these first tutorials of printing stuff to the screen, so user input and output, so getting user information from a user and outputting stuff to the screen, writing to a file, reading from a file, saving stuff to variables, and then things like if statements and while loops. That is, I mean, you already know 90% of what you're going to need to know when it comes to programming. Yeah, there's still a whole lot of other stuff you can do, but when you write out code, even when it's when you start creating way more advanced programs, majority of what you're going to be doing is stuff that we've already done in these first, uh, what tutorial is this, 16 or 17? 17. 17. This is tutorial, and the first one wasn't even real tutorial, it was an introduction. So, I mean, in this little time, looking at a few of these examples, you already have the knowledge. If you get these down and you learn them, what you've learned in these tutorials so far, you got, in my opinion, I mean, I don't have exact numbers on this, but I would say 90% of what you will need for every code you will ever write in Python. <laughs> um... So, we're going to keep going, we're going to keep learning stuff, we're going to, we're going to be looking at other aspects of it, but even as the code gets bigger, uh, or more advanced looking, a majority of it is going to be these simple basics, and that's why it's important to learn the basics first. Um, you know, so, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I thank you for watching once again. I hope that you do visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There is a link in the description. Great place to search through my videos. Also find links there to social networking stuff, my Google Plus page, Facebook page, Twitter account. Also uh, a link to the IRC channel there, which is a great place to come, hang out, uh, and become a member of this community and uh, help other people with problems and have them help you. So I hope to see you in there. And I hope that you have a great day.